Good evening, YouTube. This is Joe from Megan Newsreader. I'm standing out here in front of Oliver's in Sonoma County, and uh, it is a rainy, cold day in March, and I am speaking with Karen, who is taking her time. Uh, when most people are at home, snuggled up warm with their loved ones, she's out here sacrificing her time um, so that she can get signatures for genetically modified foods to be labeled here in California. And I just want to take a moment to uh, let her speak to you and share some of her thoughts on genetically modified foods. Hi, Karen. Hi. Uh, well, I'm the regional coordinator for Sonoma County for the Label GMO Right to Know uh, Ballot Initiative. And um, I got involved because I'm a cancer survivor. I have grandchildren and children. I was an I'm a retired teacher and I really am concerned about uh, future generations and what we're leaving them and that they're not going to be able to have fresh healthy foods to eat. They're not just not going to be available anymore. And I'm watching corporate America create um, one GMO food after the other. They have all a, a huge number of them lined up ready to go. And right now we have as a vegetarian I'm having to cut it, have cut out soy completely from our diet, um, and I watch. I'm looking at all the different foods that are available and watching my family, and how they have to change their entire way of eating because of what's out there. And this is so appalling. Do they label genetically modified foods in Europe? They label uh, genetically modified foods in 50 other countries, it's required, but we don't label them in the United States. And is this campaign uh, just for labeling GMOs here in California, or is it for the United um, States? This is a California initiative, and it would require that all products containing genetically engineered ingredients would be labeled as such, and it would have to say that it contains genetically engineered ingredients or it may contain genetically engineered ingredients. It goes a step further, saying that anything that is labeled natural would also uh, not be able to contain any GMOs at all. Uh, produce that's been genetically engineered would have to say, say that, and if salmon comes out on the market, it would have to say that it's been genetically engineered. What uh, do you have to do uh, in order to get these labeled? In other words, how many signatures do you need? Okay. What is the process? Uh, by April 22nd, we have to have 550,000 valid signatures. Wow. So we're aiming at 800,000 to a million so, because we know some of them won't be valid. And how can people get involved so that they can volunteer uh, like you are a volunteer. You're not, you're not being paid for your time at all. No, I'm not being paid at all. I'm a total volunteer. <laughs> uh, do you have any suggestions for people who might not be in California, but perhaps in the United States and who are inspired by your actions and want to do the same thing? How can they get involved? Um, they can uh, contact the Institute for Responsible Technology. They can contact Organic Consumers Association. Um, they're all involved in this, um, and if here in California, they can go to labelgmos.org and get involved. You can sign up to gather gather signatures. You can get signed up to show movies and, and get involved in several different ways. Well, I won't keep you too long, but on behalf of my grandchildren and future generations, I thank you for your time and your sacrifice. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm.